Hello and welcome to my next video. In this video I would like to demonstrate how to manage access to communities, collections and items. And for that I'll demonstrate it on our development repository on our campus which is called repository.sun.ac.za and um, we have the, almost an identical community and collection structure uh, as our production server. So the first thing we've got to do, we've got to log in as the administrator and I'm going to use the campus login uh, and use my campus login credentials which are linked to the LDAP uh, credentials that was, if you saw in the previous uh, video on uh, research authorization. Okay, so now I'm logged in as the administrator, so I, uh, as the, the full system administrator. So now I have all the privileges on the system and I can now start managing uh, communities. So let's um, manage access control to this faculty of theology, for example. So we click on that and we see we can edit the community here under the context menu there, under this context menu there. And there here there is the edit community button. So if we click on that, uh, we should be able to get to um, this page and then the assign roles and then you click on authorization policies and you can see there there is a read by anonymous and if we want to change that we just click on this ID here there and we can change uh, uh, we can remove uh, we can modify the policy here and uh, make sure that it's only uh, you can only allow the administrator to read it or you can uh, one of these groups here uh, uh, to allow to read it so at the moment anonymous is allowed to read it and you can lock it away so only administrator to read it or a group here can read it and uh, then you can say that only the administrator can add stuff uh, and the administrator can remove stuff and the admin can, can uh, get in there. So that's how you uh, manage access control on the community level. I'm just going to cancel that and return and then go back here. Now if we go back to the Faculty of Theology and we select a collection, and here is a collection, um, and then again under the context menu we click on edit collection and we go to edit collection and again we have the sign roles and there again the edit authorization policies at the bottom there and we click on that and we can see that each collection has a default bitstream read permission a default item read permission and a, just a default anonymous read permission so here again if you select this one here um, and again you can modify the access control according to a certain group there okay um, again if you click on this default item read there you can select and change the permissions there All right. okay. okay that that uh, demonstrates uh, a collection uh, access control uh, if we go back uh, I would like to uh, demonstrate uh, submitting an item and uh, with the submission uh, imposing a, an embargo on the bloodstream. So for that I'm going to go to the Faculty of Theology and the article test submission here and then I'm going to submit a new item here. Alright, the, the item I'm going to submit is this item here, which is a good idea to have it um, ready for you um, to do uh, cutting and pasting and, uh, and uh, preparing it for submission. So the one thing you want to have available is the title to be able to copy the title, to be able to copy the uh, abstract uh, and to copy details of the authors uh, from the PDF. So if we go back to the website and we say the authors here are uh, Reggie, the last name, okay, the last name is Roger 
and the first thing I did there was Virgin. Okay, there was no supervisor. Um, if there's any other authors, we click on Add, and we add some more authors, and my last name is Gibson. So there we have the two authors, Regiraju and Gibson Martin Regiraju, the principal author being the first one submitted. There's no supervisor, then the title, if we go, if we just switch to the title, we go here, yeah. and we can copy that. Then we go back to the web browser, and then we paste that in. It only has one title, so we're not going to add no title. Then the abstract, there's one abstract, we go back to the PDF, yeah, and then copy that little abstract there, and we go back to the browser, and then we paste it in there. The nice handy thing is this, uh, you can spread it out, and look at it in a nice, clean way like that, with that little uh, handle there on the box. Then the date of issue, right, let's just say this one done in 2014, I don't know if that's correct, but this is just an example in February there. And then it's an article, and it's an English South Africa, and there's uh, some keywords, this is D-Space, uh, uh, D-Space. Uh, another keyword would be um, Africa. Keyword or keyword with the open access and then that there. Plus, they have separate keywords there because of the and um, for related articles. Um, it's a good idea to have separate keywords. Then we click next. Uh, now we select the file. So there it is. Click that. And then we say this is a final published. Version. And yeah, so now here, this is the part where we um, embargo this, 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 this section here. This is the part where we embargo until a specific date. Very important. If we don't fill in anything in there, then it's not embargo. So we want to embargo this, and let's say we want to embargo this until the end of the year. Uh, yeah, until the end of the year. And the reason we do the bottom, Reggie asked us to do this. But any reason you yeah, have there would be great. You just type it in there. So then we go next. And we're in the review step there. As you can see in the green name. So we review that. Looks all good there so far. Looks all good there. Date of issue, it doesn't have the embargo date here, um, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to review that. I don't know if that's a bug. Um, Alright, then we go next, and we'll check the embargo date just now. I'll show you how to do that. And then here we can write the, 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 the license, the distribution license, and then we complete the submission. So after processing, according to that collection. Uh, Workflow, we're going to have a look at the collections workflow. Um, yeah, faculty, I think I cookie. Oh, there it's been accepted. So I just want to have a look quickly and see the collection workflow. Um, you see there's no roles there, so it just went through immediately. As soon as you start putting in roles and creating here, then it will go through that assigned workflow. But if there's nothing here, it just simply gets uh, 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 accepted into the repository. So it's up to you to put in uh, the workflows to make sure that there's a review of the article. So now we go there, it's been submitted and we click on it here and we should see uh, and if we go to um, view and metadata we get the, uh, some OK signs for the author Get this stuff. Oh yes, I'm Robin's administrator, so I have the access. So let's just go and have a look at the bitstream. Uh, sorry, it's a uh, bitstream. Um, and we're going to edit this item. Yes. 
You click on edit this item and then item with stream. So you see there's the item with stream there. Okay. Now we have to go to item status uh, and we click on this item authorizations. We should see, there we go, a date for the restriction on the PDF only. And it has that resource policy ID there, num ID number there. You see, to modify that, I could change the, 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 the date there to modify that. So we cancel that. Okay, so to get there, it is the, you need to, to edit this item and then go to the item, uh, item authorizations to see it. And then you click on return. So uh, let's just test that. And we want to log out. And we go back to there. And we click on this item. And there's the lock icon. There's the lock icon that I was talking about before. And if you click on it, the request to copy uh, comes up. So that all works. So that should give you a hint uh, of how to now to do a retrospective uh, application of a number. So let's select a bitstream that has already been submitted, like this one, for example, here. And we want to embark on this uh, until the following year, uh, say, January. But we want to keep the metadata available, we want to keep that fact available, etc. But we only want to uh, block the bitstream. So again, we log in as the um, administrator, and I'm going to log in again as the administrator. And cancel that. Yeah, let's just see. Okay, yes, then I'm logged in as the administrator, yeah. So now we go back to that um, item. So we go back to there it is, and we find that item, and there it is. So again, how do we get restricted? We click on edit this item, and we go to the authorizations. And now we're looking specifically at um, the PDFs. We're not worried about the JPEG, Mostly about this PDF here, this one. This Ferreira description, this is the actual article. So we click on a resource policy ID there, and you see there's no start date there, it's empty, no start date. So we click on the research policy ID there, and we say, right, we're going to restrict this to anonymous to everybody uh, until this date, uh, let's say July. Okay, I said, you say January next year, but let's just say August this year. And uh, if you want, you can also put in a group, but that's not quite. You put in a description of the embargo and a name for the embargo. Well, but all of that's required to make it active is to put in a tag and then we click on save. And now we see the, the start date. That start date means that's the start date when anonymous access is allowed. Until that date, it is embargoed. See, there's also an end date here. So between the start and end date here, you could add allow access or restrict access. But just to restrict access, you just put in start date and after that, access will be allowed. I hope that's pretty clear. Uh, please practice this uh, on your development server. All right, so if I log out now, uh, and um, I go back to that item there, um, it should be the lock. There we go. There's the lock. It's locked now. And if I click on that bit stream now, now it asks me for the request to copy. Uh, and uh, in the previous video, I demonstrated the request to copy. Okay, so that uh, basically concludes how to manage uh, access control to collections, um, access control to communities.